being a business owner versus being an employee. I want to just kind of touch on the surface level of, of this chat. And I feel that especially those that are employees, they don't necessarily understand what it's like being a business owner because they just haven't done it. A lot of business owners, they have been employees. So they're able to attest from that employee perspective. I've been an employee probably six to seven times, right? Throughout my career and I'm 24 right now. So when you think about an employee, and again, I'm just gonna be touching on the surface level here. When you think about an employee, you think about, okay, well, it's a guaranteed pay for the most part. Every single month, every two weeks, you know what you're getting paid all the time. So you're able to factor in the bills, you're able to factor in expenses a lot easier, especially starting out. Now let's go to the business owner starting out. Starting out as a business owner, it's not guaranteed. It's really based upon your own efforts within your company, depending on what kind of product that you're offering. And it's just, it's not a guaranteed pay. There's a lot of risk being a business owner. And there's a lot of different overhead expenses you have to take care of to, to get it rolling. When you're an employee, that's pretty much already taken care of because you're working for a business that's already been existing most likely for a lot of years. And they already have people that are on salary, that are on payroll, that are getting these things. Okay, so that, that, that's a huge part is guaranteed pay for an employee, business owner is not guaranteed. A lot of times it can be commission. And, and there might be jobs where, for example, if you're a car salesman, it is strictly commission, but they'll still give you a kickback for so long whenever you start. Uh, second thing is benefits. A lot of times having a job, you're, you're guaranteed benefits. Not all the time, depending on what job and field it is. And whether that's healthcare, dental care, vision, you name it. And from a business owner perspective, you gotta take care of that yourself. And some of that can be pretty pricey starting out, especially when it comes to insurance. I mean, a basic health insurance plan you can get probably for like around 100 bucks, 150 bucks, and that's extremely basic. If you want full coverage, I mean, you're talking anywhere from like 500 to 1,000, and that's on a monthly basis. But again, if you have a job that takes care of that, they'll take that out of your cut. So there's definitely some benefits in that. Now let's talk about taxes. I'm not a tax professional. I don't really want to be a tax professional, but working a job, being an employee, your taxes are just so, I don't even know the word, but they're done for you. And when I say they're done for you to an extent where you don't even have to really factor in expenses, you know, cause you're constantly getting taken care of and, and you're, you're getting paid from the company. So the company takes care of all of that since they're the one providing for your basic necessities and needs. Again, guys, having a job, you're doing the same thing pretty much every single day throughout the entire course of that job. Compared to a business owner, you got to calculate expenses, write-offs. I mean, there's the list goes on. There's so many different things like vehicles that you can write off. That's why you'll see people that get company business vehicles to, to write off. But the, the whole write-off perspective and, and with taxes, being a business owner, especially if you're making over a certain threshold, let me tell you, if you're making over six figures as a business owner, that's, that's when they really can just go to town on you because the government's like, well, okay, if, if you're gonna make all this money, let's get a little part, <laughs> let's get a little bit of that. That's why you'll see business owners base their LLCs in states like New Jersey, states like Nevada, Florida sometimes. And then if people really don't want to pay taxes that much, then they can simply move their business to a whole new country like Puerto Rico, uh, Malta, because there's a way to get under that kind of stuff. I personally, again, I'm not too educated within that realm. I'm just speaking about what it is that I'm in the known about, especially with friends of mine that have done it. And I, I know for, for countries like Puerto Rico, you have to donate to charity a certain amount. That way they don't even have, they don't take much taxes at all. If you're producing six, seven, eight figures a year, 
right? So taxes alone, it's just a whole different, whole different thing. I mean, you, you go to like a tax H&R block or your local tax man being an employee, you can get that done within a day. But being a business owner, some of that takes weeks to get done. So there's just so much information. And, and something else, bookkeeping. As an employee, you don't have to really keep tally of your, of your books. As a business owner, you have to take tally of those expenses that are going out, the software expenses, the, the, the gasoline that you're using. There's so many different ways to, to calculate it, right? So what have I covered so far? I've covered the pay. I've covered the you know different kinds of healthcare, covered benefits, and, and really just taxes. Those three to four things alone are absolutely major when it comes to being a business owner compared to being an employee. Being a business owner also allows you to think long term. Now, being an employee, you probably still do that depending on what your job is. A lot of times you don't because that's what the head managers and all that, but that's what they're there for. But being a business owner, it's your company. It doesn't go anywhere unless you think for where you want to go, unless you want to expand. You have to have longer term thinking being a business owner. Uh, being an employee, depending on what your role is, I'm talking about employees that they're really just working a nine to five job and they're doing the same thing every single day and they're content with that. There's not much long term thinking and growth that comes from that besides doing the same exact routine every single day. I'll do respect to that, but for a business owner compared to an employee, that's the difference is you have to be thinking progressively ahead. You have to continue to think forward, to move the needle forward. Every single day you think about how can I get this business 1% better every single day? When typically a lot of employees are just like, all right, I'm just gonna do the same thing yesterday, all right, Friday, it's the weekend, let's go. All right, this is my time to shine. So there's a lot more overall decision-making that comes into play. Because when you're an employee and there's bosses and, and people that are over you, you don't really have a say within the decision-making. Now, can you make suggestions? Absolutely, because you work for that company, you work for that team. And if the management just simply doesn't want to hear any suggestions that you have, then you might want to think about going somewhere else and finding a new job because having and being a part of a team, especially for the long term, you want to keep that in mind. Again, if you're just in your job and you're an employee just to pay the bills and to live your life, by all means, do you. But for me personally, I've always had that business owner mentality of progressing and lifting and helping others up. Ladies and gentlemen, the fact of the matter is not everybody's gonna understand and see eye to eye with you being an employee or with you being a business owner because there's, there's different sides. There's pros and cons to each one. There really is. There's pros and cons to everything in this, in this world, okay? So I really just wanted to come on here and express the, the differences between a, a business owner having your own business that you operate compared to being an employee where you show up to someone else's business, whether it's a small business, whether it's a large corporation, and the tasks that you have to do on a daily basis. A lot of times it is pretty repetitive and there's just not much thinking room to progress yourself. So then the question might come, well, Nate, how do I make that decision to go from an employee to a business owner? That's when you have to have a real conversation with yourself and you have to say, are you, are you tired of just working for somebody else? And if so, find out what it is that you really want to do. Maybe you really want to do the same thing that you're doing right now, but on a business level. Maybe it's having a conversation of to your manager or to your boss saying, hey, I want to move up in this company. Have you ever considered that? I want to get a pay raise. I want to progress. You can do that within corporate. You can do that within being an employee and level up. And if they sincerely just don't have a position, then you need to think to yourself, do I want to stay here until they can finally open a position up? How much time would that take? Are you young? You know, do you want to wait? If not, maybe it's time to find a, a different career path. Maybe it's fine, time to start your own business. Well, Nate, I don't know how to start my own business. Find out what you're passionate about. Find out what your inner desire wants to do and go do it. 
Do it on the side. Do it whenever it's after work and late at night. Focus on that. And then make that a part-time income. Make your part-time income eventually become your full-time income. That way you can fire your job that you're in. That right there will make you so much um, happier in the long term. So again, I didn't want to make this too long. I just wanted to cover the bases about a business owner and an employee and really closing that gap. Hey, there's some business owners, they'll be an employee because they just simply got tired of the whole business owner life. It, it's stressful. It really is for some that really want to make it big. I, I dedicated, I made a decision early on and I said, hey, anything I'm a part of, I'm going to go all in. I don't want to make it small. I want to make it the biggest it possibly can be. Guess what? When, when you want to do that, and when you commit to that decision, it's not always easy. Each day can be different. You'll have your highs of highs and then you'll have your, your lows of lows, you know, but that's, that's all part of the process. That's all part of making that become a reality. So I encourage you figure out what it is that you want to do and then just go all in on it. Okay. Being a business owner, it's not easy. I'll tell you that right now. It's a very tough, gruesome process. And I'm not trying to discourage you, but it, it, it can be a struggle. It can be a lot of pain. There can be a lot of heartache. And if you simply want to be comfortable and you don't want to go through it, and I don't want to hear that, oh, well, it shouldn't be that hard, you're in for it. <laughs> and, I, and I mean that. Elon Musk said it best. He's like, somebody asked him, what would you encourage somebody that's getting ready to, to be a business owner? Elon said, don't do it. <laughs> and there's a reason for that. So hope this encourages you and gives you more perspective on both spectrums. And I will see you on the next video.